All right, we're rolling. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Roadhouse last night. It's pretty interesting stuff, brother. Roadhouse. Wow. Connor. Connor. Dude, those fight scenes are in- insane. And I don't know if you saw at the end, but you know he's not dead. He's Come not dead. <clears throat> he's not dead. <laughs> He'll probably be dead in the second one. But first hey. scene. First scene. Oh, sorry. These allergies are just getting to me. I apologize. Yeah, we get the shed open too. It's uh, not good for him. The first scene we see him in. Ass out. Yo. He said, what he said? With that lat walk, too. Connor got that new lat strut going on. What the fuck? Oh, my God. And then the last scene we see him, ass out, walking out of the hospital. Yeah, yeah. What a legend. What a legend. No spoilers. If you haven't seen Roadhouse, go see Roadhouse. Go see both of them. Go see the old one with Patrick Swayze and the new one with Joan Hall was good too. I like um, incredible. Hall, I I will say this movie surpassed my expectations. But uh, me really and Matt, good. yeah, me and Matt were also talking about the last two movies we've seen have really been hand to hand combat. So and that's that's what we love. So yeah, two pretty good movies back to back. I'd say that's a pretty good run. Dune two and then uh. Dune 2 is fucking incredible. I mean, you can't compare the two, but I'm just saying, like, with Conor McGregor, you know. I'm yeah. Out. And then, uh, and so. in the middle of that, I went and saw Kung Fu Panda 4. Yeah, me and Grayson watched a little bit of that. I didn't see what... Great movie. Same story, though, basically? Uh, no. So, he's gotta find a... He has to pick the new Dragon Warrior. He's, like, older now. And he has to become, like, what the turtle guy was in the first one. Like the sensei, the yeah. master sensei. The, huh? uh, the spiritual guide and whatever. Ah, uh-huh. got you. Yeah. Does he have kids? No. Poe, he doesn't have any kids? No kids, no woman. Has no woman, just... But clearly you don't need a woman to have kids. But, you know, just and when being the dragon po... warrior, that would be too much. And then the Poe's dad warrior. has a husband? Oh. Poe has two dads now, randomly. Nice. <laughs> or mom. Or, or did we find that out in the third movie? I but can't it's confirmed that Poe has two dads. Yeah, one's a panda and one is a goose. Oh, so they're not both two go- gooses? Okay, but like they're not together though. Like I don't know. I think they no, might be. No, 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 no. The goose raised them. But then the panda is his actual dad. And then the panda. Has so now they're to just be. homies and they run the kitchen together? I don't know. They made it seem like they were gay. I don't know. I haven't. I, I need a. We need a. <sighs> they made it seem it. like they were gay. But. Hey. They're just normalizing I it. I don't know. That's a lot, dude. I mean, that's for the kids. That's what I'm saying. Right in your face. But also, I might be missing it. And it's like, we're going to do it so subtle that, like, you're going to think that you're missing it. Exactly. But, but it's just normalizing it. it. Teddy. Dude, you need to chill. Chill. You're wound up like Grayson chill. was. Stop. But, yeah. Big yeah. Big fan of movies. Big fan of movies. And then I just have been watching, uh, what's it called? Yeah, that show you were watching. With just Josh now. Brolin. It's called Outer Range. And I it's hope it, on it's what? about to it's on Amazon Prime. It's it's about to like open up and kind of things are about to really, really happen. And Got I hope you. it does like a lot of shows get shitty at that point. Uh-huh. Like the build up is good and you're like, Oh, what's the secret? And then they tell you the secret and you're like Dang That's it. So yeah, you just I, wanted I, me along for this ride. Yeah, exactly. So I hope that the secret reveal, the big reveal, is not like some dumb shit. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, but Stay that's tuned. good. Yeah, um, March Madness going on right now. LSU's playing Ooh. around two women are. Yeah, um, two o'clock. Marquette just beat Colorado. That's um, what I was I about to been, say, Marquette. I have not been keeping up with it. Too good, but uh, what's your sleeper? You know, Houston's pretty good. Marquette's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. 
Um, Tell me all who's still in it. Tennessee SEC team. I think I really have no clue, dude. I'm yeah. not even gonna cap. Yeah, me neither. I'm like, not even gonna say. I used to love moves. watching March Madness. Like I used to watch that shit all day, but now it's just like now it's like I work 55 hours a week, 60 yeah, hours a week. Just try to put that stuff. Well, it's just oh, laying done. down for a second. And it's UFC, just like, dang, football, free agency. Really watch this. Like, the draft is coming up. It's college basketball. <gasps> it's just college basketball. So, and even with the women's, I mean, it's, you know. I mean, go Tigers. We go Tigers. Go Tigers, but we definitely have our sports, brother. And, I mean, when the finals are on, like the NBA finals, or like when March Madness... <laughs> Those finals are on. I mean, we're going to watch, but I mean, it's just not what it used to be, bro, growing up. It, it seeing is, seeing people younger than you, healthier yeah, it's than you. Now it's weird. Like, it was, like, it was, it was cool, like, you growing were younger, up. You're, you're, like, like looking up to them, but now it's, like, dang. Like, like dang. I Joe Burrow is the same age. It's like, wow, I wasn't able to do that. Uh, Good job, boys. Really makes you think. She, but I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah, my dad still watches it. And your you dad watch still it. watches it. I was watching golf. The players? No, I was just watching golf. Before. Yeah, like the players. Oh tournament. yeah, yeah. Sorry, the players tournament. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Went to a, almost went to a playoff. And then uh, Sam Burns had a good week two weeks ago. Yeah, he's kind of hit or miss, but he's like. But he's still young. And he's good. He's and he's good, talented. Ranked. He's really good. The Ma- we got the Masters coming up. Vern Lundquist, our our boys last Masters. Oh my god. RIP. I'm gonna be glued to every second of these Masters. Vern Lundquist is my favorite Especially announcer of all time. But we'll see about Tiger. I mean Vern I really Lundquist don't know. Vern Lundquist is my favorite announcer of all time. Same. SEC Network has not been the same without him. Same. And now they got the dudes on March Madness instead of Jim Nance. They got the guys that call college. Oh, not Gary Danielson, but the other guy. They got him filling in for Nance. Um, Jim Nance. Yeah, but, you know, the dude, the SEC football CBS, it's Gary Danielson, and what's the other guy's name? The other guy's name is filling in for he, – he's – the Nance now. Connor so. knows way more announcers than I do. So he's yeah. way better. At I that thought. Than I me. mean, I, I like that. But uh, Vern Lundquist though at the Masters, Tiger. We'll see. I, I'm really thinking this is his last Masters, dude. If he's even gonna play, we'll see. But um, you know, hey buddy, what's up? Point is, life. Moves faster and faster and faster. It's like a, it's like one of those little uh, carousel thingies when you're a kid, and then the you just every year is like another slap, and then the carousel just starts. Yeah. And then eventually, it'll slow down abruptly and then stop. It's hard. Oh, you're doing that to yourself, Tucker. You gotta get out. I mean, you know, talk about life. It's yeah. It's hard, brother. I mean, it was 2017 was rainbows and roses, dude. I had my own apartment. I was king of the world, and you know. Hey, lay down. Somewhere. Sorry, guys. We're definitely not going to have the dogs on every single podcast we do. Yeah, you know, Tucker. But me. they are a good addition. He's an old, needy guy. He's a sweet guy. He's just old. His legs hurt. He's trying to get comfy. It Teddy's a young guy, so you and know. Teddy's just doing his thing. It's they're not the problem. It's me getting distracted by them is the problem. But Teddy with the ball. Yeah, I got nothing else to do f- with him right now. <coughs> uh, this is life, like we were talking about. You know what I'm saying, dude? I'm thinking about. All right, what would be like uh, top three places to move right now in the states? In the States. Yeah, in the States. Okay, I'm going to throw Austin out there for sure. All right, Austin. Oh. Um, the, the new comedy uh, new comedy uh, hub of, of the world. 
I'm gonna say somewhere up there in Washington or somewhere, Oregon, maybe somewhere up Ooh, there. Shout out Oregon. What up, big brother? Yep. Um, and shout then my out. third one. These are in no order. These are just no you order. Know. Yeah, no order. All right. Um, probably be Florida. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I mean that is a solid three. But this is just strictly in the states. Yeah, that's why I strictly get. You know, we we. I, w- I would want to say Texas, but we get enough of Texas right by Texas, like, you know. But yeah. Are you saying, like, if we were talking about in the world? Yeah, if we were talking about in the world, I wouldn't be even some name crazy places. the states in one of them. Uh-uh. What are yours? I don't even know. Like, I feel like the best places to live are, like, places I don't even know about yet. Like, right. Like, somewhere like, I don't know, like Bali. Like but so. we, you were talking about in the states, though. Oh, I thought you were saying. I, I, oh, oh, sorry. You're you asked me my question. three. Yeah, um, I would probably say somewhere in Florida, probably like. Uh, I don't know. I like the Tampa area. It's like a good vibe. Not necessarily Tampa itself, but just that area. Shout out, mom and dad, moving there. Shut up. Uh, and then uh, also like I don't know somewhere like the Keys. Might be fire, like so. Like, two Floridas. No, I'm thinking. I'm trying to. I'm trying I, to the narrow, keys would be I'm fire to though. Narrow down where Especially in Florida. Especially after watching Roadhouse last night. I'm just like, I just <laughs> all 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 my top three and even top three in the world. They're all like just somewhere on a nice quiet beach. Not a lot. So of you're people. a beach guy. See, that's what my parents well, are. They're a beach so, guy. Well, they're beach people. Interestingly enough. This is a new development in my personality. Growing up, I was a snow kid. I wanted to go skiing. I wanted to see the mountains. Yeah, see. But now that I'm an alcoholic, <laughs> I just want to go to the beach and sit in the sun. And that's life. <laughs> that's life. I want to go somewhere in the mountains because I've been going to the beach my whole life. See, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's yeah. why I'm wanting the beach because I've been going to the mountains my whole life. Interesting. But, yeah, that's a good um, that's a good thought. Outside of the states, though, definitely. I mean, I'm not talking about like I would have to have money, but Switzerland for yeah, give sure. Give me that globe. Let me look at this globe. It's uh, kind of broken right now. Yeah, fuck the globe. Let's point we'll, is we'll put the globe under some maintenance and uh, a maintenance. We need some globe. But the Faroe Islands are pretty cool. It's this place. See, that's what I'm saying. I've never even heard of that. Right here, it's between the United... It's not even on the globe, but it's right here between Iceland and the United Kingdom, and it's just like... I'll tell you the number one place I want to visit that I probably want to live is Italy. Dang, how old? Yeah. Italy sounds perfect. Especially, like, along the Amalfi Coast, where there's all those... It all sounds perfect. Um, dude, this globe is old... Dude, it says Union of the, the, Soviet the, Socialist Republics. Yeah, dude. the globe's older than me. Globe's old, dog. Dude, the globe's from like the sixties, maybe. Mongolians people People's Republic. <laughs> Read wow. out the name it had for Russia again. Union of Soviet. It's USSR. Damn. Yeah. I mean, what do you? So yeah. what? That was a. Uh, that's still. That's from the sixties, huh? This is. Okay, let's see if I can find a date on this thing. So the collapse date was on 91. Yeah, so I mean, that could be from the 80s, probably. It looks like the 80s. Or early 90s. 90. Not 91. Dang, it doesn't say. It just says, it says everything else but the date on it. That's really sucks. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. No wonder yeah, it's uh, falling apart. Falling apart, let's say. Uh, yeah, we'll get it early. Always have to have a good globe. And see, look. It's like it's slightly kind of topographic as well. Also, I was just about to say that you can see the mountain. Yeah, map. a lot of detail. Perfect. It's cool. Love a globe. Love a map. I spent hours as a little kid looking at that globe. Just like, where am I going to go? Oh, dude. I just. And here we are in Shreveport, Louisiana. Doing a a podcast. Just want to be on a beach somewhere. See, there you go. See, like I don't. What do you? Where? Where do you want to be? I mean, like, where do you want to go to? Like 
Sweden? Some, like, Icelandish. Yeah, somewhere, like, up there in Europe. Like, even, like, maybe London. Like, Ugh. or Ireland. Just, like... I would lo- I want to go there. I want to visit there, but it doesn't seem like I'd want to live in London. Okay, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Live in. Yeah. I could see you, like, I, on the side of a mountain in a glass house. I'd say Somewhere Shor- in Sweden. Shorvsen. It's the um, capital of the Faroe Islands. It's about... The fuck are the Faroe Islands? Look it up, guys. It's... It's... <laughs> Explain it, dude. So anyway, they're right in between. It's right in between Iceland and Britain, and it's this little bitty island. And there's this town called Shoresven. It's probably got fifteen hundred people, but there's restaurants and everything. F A R O E, islands, Faroe. Yes, and they're right in the middle of nowhere. Like it takes a minute to get. Dude, I got stung by a bee. I'm pretty sure the other day. And that was crazy. It's like, like too much rock. There's no trees. Literally, these islands are not big enough for trees. It's like volcanoes and green stuff and, you know. Yeah. I like, I just, I, I don't know. I could do the mountains too. Like I could live in, I could live somewhere like Colorado or something. Yeah, but like I could also go somewhere here in the states, just like yeah, Austin for a little bit, you know. Like yeah, that Florida was great. seems cool. Florida seems great. I like Fort Worth. Colorado I'm seems great. My seriously, considering moving to Fort Worth, I love Fort Worth. Yeah. You went there, had a great time. Yeah, I fell in love with it last summer, uh, Fourth of July. <laughs> Going back this year, hundred percent. Hundred percent. And then I'm going to Oregon uh, Labor Day week. And really? Me and Will are gonna go camping in Washington State that weekend. See, like I need to be doing like trips like that. Ever since I have Grayson, I haven't been able to do anything like well, that. Well, he's about to get to the age where you can take him with you. Yeah. And it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Yeah. We're almost there. Yeah. Very close. So. Big things happening. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, yeah, that's all I got. You got anything else? I don't, we just wanted to have a quick little chat. Yeah, I just want to have a chat. About, you know. Stuff. Roadhouse last night. Stuff. Roadhouse. Great Let's cap movie. off Roadhouse. Film was incredible. It was like watching a UFC fight. Yeah. Like, but with a... Like, movie production. Like, it was just absolutely incredibly done. And then I can ima- I can imagine that McGregor probably was like... I feel like they were probably like, yo, do like this. And he was like, no. Uh, like, this is how... I feel like going off of what he was saying. That's what I'm saying. I bet he off. really helped them a lot with the scenes. Yeah. Because, like, they looked way better than... Any fights, you but, know, uh, Dune did really well, but it was different. It was more clean. It's just different. Roadhouse was really, really good. It's just, it's just different overall. But anyway, guys, that's really all we got today. Um, it's Sunday, lazy Sunday, rest day. Even though I did do that cold plunge in the morning, y'all keep hammering the shorts. We appreciate you guys. Matt's gonna go do his thing now. Get over there, you little rascal. You mother. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good Sunday.